Hi everyone, welcome to the Mathemagic channel. Today we look at a quick worksheet on how we simplify fractions. As always, the worksheet is in the description below, so make sure you try it and then do the worksheet with me. Uh, let's get started. Let's go. So when you simplify fractions, it's important to note what's at the top and what's at the bottom and what common factors we have. So when you look at a number like 6 over 10, you should note that 6 is made up of 2 and 3 and 10 is made up of 2 and 5. So we can simplify this by dividing the top and the bottom by 2. And if we do that, we're left with 3 over 5. Looking at question B, we can note that 6 and 18 both contain a 6 and therefore if I divide the top and the bottom by 6 I get a 1 at the top and then 18 divided by 6 is going to be a 3. For question C I can notice that 25 contains a uh, 5 and a 5, 10 contains a 5 and a 2. So if I divide the top and the bottom by 5 I'm left with 5 over 2. Question D, I don't have a lot of space at the edge, but I hope you can see it. The top has a 7 and a 2, the bottom has a 7 and a 5. I can divide the top and the bottom by 7. So this is going to give me 2 out of uh, 5. For question E, this looks like uh, two multiples of 11. 33 divided by 11 is 3. 77 divided by 11 is 7. Question F, it looks like we can definitely divide by 4, but more importantly, if you do the sum, you realize that 4 plus 8 is 12, 72, 7 plus uh, 2 is 9. Both of these numbers are divisible by 3 as well as being even. So you can divide them not only by 2, not only by 3, but you can divide them by 6, and even more so, you could divide these numbers by 12. So 48 divided by 12 is going to be a beautiful uh, 4. And 72 divided by 12 is a 6. So we could have gone even one step further and divided the top and the bottom by 24 directly. Uh, so 4 over 6 being even over even can be divided by 2 again and it's 2 over 3. So the quickest way to do F would be to divide top and bottom by 24. Question G, a little bit tricky this one. 78 contains uh, a 13 and so that's not easy to see but maybe you'll see that 65 is 13 times 5 and therefore 78 is 13 times 6. And at the bottom, we notice that 117 is uh, 130 minus 13. So 130 is 10 13, so this is 9 13. So this is interesting. You could divide by 13 first and then realize that you can still divide by 3. Uh, but let's do it, let's do it step, step, step by step. So uh, 78 divided by 13 is going to be 6. 117 divided by 13 is going to be 9. And here we notice there's still a 3 in both the top and the bottom. So actually this can be 2 over 3. So the quickest way to do this is to notice that 78 and 117 are both multiples of 39. Now 39 is pretty okay in terms of 78. But to see that 117 is 3 times 39 is not obvious. So it's okay to start with 6 over 9. That's already very good. Um, and that's a fine question. For question H, 125 over 1000, maybe I'll do it right here because there's no space at the edge. So 125 goes into 1000, it's actually 8 blocks of 125 which will give you 1000. So this is simply going to be 1 over 8. So 8 times 125 is 1000. Moving on to question 5A, dividing top and bottom by 3, 15 divided by 3 is 5. So this is just going to be a whole number. Question B, 15 divided by 5 is 3. However, a negative divided by a positive is a negative, so this will be negative 3. Question C, 20 divided by 4 is 5, but it's again a negative 5. Question D, 22 over 2 is 11, but this is going to be negative 11 because uh, we have a positive divided by a negative. 18 divided by 6 here is going to be 3. And negative 18 divided by 6 is negative 3 because we have a negative and a positive. Now in question G, you have two negatives. And so for two negatives, uh, you'll get a positive. And so 12 divided by 4 is positive 3. Question H, we get 3 over 6, which is a half, same as in part 4. However, this is going to be minus a half. So this is minus a half, this one. Question I, a negative divided by a negative is a positive, and 2 over 8 is going to be a quarter. You can divide top and bottom by 4. 
Question J, a negative divided by a positive is a negative, and 5 over 15 is the same as 1 over 3. Question K, negative over negative is positive, and 7 over 14 is a half. And then question L, uh, we have one of each, so this number will be negative, and it's going to be 1 over 2, because you can divide the top and the bottom by 4, so negative 1 half here. Thank you for watching the Mathematic channel. We shall see you on the next video. Make sure to like and subscribe. Bye-bye.